I were president, I would say to stop making a lot of garbage. The whole country has just been been stupefied. It was double speak. It was just bullshit for the last 20 years about we need to dig holes in the ground to put our garbage. I looked the word commerce up in the dictionary, and the word commerce in the dictionary is goods. Since when is trash goods? There's a lot of special interests, powerful special interests involved when you talk about landfilling and hauling waste, so they have a lot of influence over the legislature. We're consuming the earth, and we're destroying the biosphere. I mean, that's suicidal. I don't think Americans know enough about what happens to our solid waste. What do you eat out of there, out of the dumpster? I eat really well. I can pretty much eat anything I want. I, I'm, I try to eat a healthy diet, so I eat lots of fresh, I get lots of fresh produce. I'd like people to realize how much is wasted in this country, and maybe to think, rethink the way that they consume products, and also that a lot of things not only with food, but with, with clothing and with furniture and with paper. It's an abomination. I mean, considering the land consumption that all this waste is going to take up, considering the fact that so many of these items have, are, are not biodegradable and are going to be around for ages. There was a gentleman that I knew one time that told me that he came with a waste person to the state of Indiana and that man got off that private plane and looked around and said will you look at all that dumping ground. The Society of Plastics Engineers has a very elaborate lobbying effort to keep plastics not particularly recyclable. We're putting the entire planet on a plastic diet. Uh, inadvertent plastic diet in which they're inadvertently eating plastic along with their natural food. 1.37 billion cubic kilometers of ocean and it's full of plastic. We can't clean it up. What we can do is stop polluting it now. If Columbus had sailed to America with plastic dinnerware, we'd still be finding traces of it on the beaches of the Atlantic. Michigan is getting inundated by garbage coming from Canada and there's nothing they can do about it. The city of Toronto is sending all of its trash to, to Michigan and it's only spending about $37 per ton to do that, including transportation. Garbage sucks, but it needs to go somewhere, and I'd rather see it go on the state side than stay in Canada. Well, they can gripe all they want, but let's, the bottom line is, if they're going to do something about it, do it. Do it. Start now. In the meantime, all the moaning and groaning going on, these other guys are just laughing all the way to the bank. If I had garbage in my house, I would not be happy. I would not be happy.